lovelies. So if you remember from my vlog from the other day, I went to Joann's and I bought this. <laughs> so we are gonna make some unicorns today. Hopefully it's not too difficult and hopefully it's fun. So it came with all of this. Yay. And this yarn and this whole fun bag of things. And it came with an instruction manual. Oh, I see. Okay, cool. All right. So I have all of the instructions I need to do this. Do I have all the stuff that I need? Hang on. Okay, so it did come with everything that I need, I believe. So it says that I still need a ruler, scissors, a pencil, or pen. Currently I have none of those things. So I am going to have to go find them, I suppose. So. I had an idea, I've taken a good look at the instructions, and now I'm going to throw them over there. I want it to be entertaining, so I'm going to try to do this without the instructions and see how far I get. Okay, so I guess we'll get started. Okay, wait, what is that piece for? Is it a body? I don't know what those are. Well, I guess we'll not use them. Oh, wait a second. There's three of these. So one will go in the middle, one on each side. And then we'll put our legs on the outside of that. Right? I think. I hope. That is a thick, oh God. Oops. That is a thick horse. That's, that's a lot of cardboard right there. But I will not look at the instructions! So how do I want to make it? That's what we're going on now. So I think I'm going to go with it like this. So it's really thick here. And the legs are really thin. So I don't know if the leg pieces need to go on the outside or the inside. That's what's confusing me right now. But I think I'll go with it like this to where the body pieces are on the outside so that the legs aren't too thick. Okay, so for a sticky bit. How many of the sticky bits do I have? Do I get enough enough for the big horse too? Oh. Oh. No, there's a lot of them. Yeah, there's a lot more than I thought there were. That's good. Oh wait. I don't need that to go there. No, come back. I just realized you're not going to the part I thought you were. Ha, I did it. Ha <laughs> ha One sticky thing on there. Okay. Yay. Two parts together. Yay, half the horse is put together. <gasps> no, his head is all weird. So I have this one done. It's all glued together and everything. So his legs are a little bit thinner, and his body's quite a bit thicker. And I actually messed up with this one. It's a little bit off from the others. But I'll make it work. I think it would take up too much time to make both of the unicorns. Hi. So I'll just stick with the little unicorn. I'll save the big unicorn for when I get in another crafty mood off of camera. I think what we do now is yarn on the feet. The hoofs right here are supposed to be a different color, but there's no way to actually like do all of the white up here and then hide the string from this. So they want you to start with the hoof and then do the white up here after that. So on the box, they have each of the hooves a different color, but I don't like that that much. I want it to be all the same color. So um, I'm gonna pick one color for the hooves, but I've got to pick what color. So we're going to use the purple yarn for the hooves. Uh, I don't know how much string I'm going to need. Oh, I need scissors. So let's just guesstimate. Huh? <gasps> Yay, I did it. Well, I got one hoof done. That's the hoof that's done. It looks a little bit odd, I think. But I think it'll be okay. No, don't come off the back. What are you doing? 
Now I've got to do that exact same thing three more times. I feel like these back two are going to be the worst. I don't know why, but I feel it. One left. And a little string on the back. I'll cut off all the extra here in a second. Uh, I made it too short and I can't let go of it or it'll unravel. But now I can't get the sticker undone. I did it. Look at me go. All of the feet are done. And now I'm going to take a second. Snip off some of the excess. Because it's kind of excessive. Let go. Now, I believe we can get to the white yarn and wrap the whole little buddy up. Okay, so I remember in the pictures, it showed that there was like, it looked like masking tape around the center, but I don't know why they would have done that other than to secure it in, like, in place better. But I'm just going to wrap it up with yarn anyway, so I don't see the point. And I don't have masking tape. No, some of the purple sticking through. <laughs> ah! Hide the purple! Guys, I'm doing it! It's working! I think. We're about to find out, because I gotta... I have an idea on how to get it up this leg, and then down that leg, and then back up, and then around. So I've got the back legs done. They look pretty good, I think. But, um, the question now, the question now is, do I want to cut this, like, stick it down here, and then cut it off, and start a new piece, or do I just keep going? So I think I'm going to keep, try to keep going with this string, and see how far I can get, I guess? That's not gonna work either. Hang on. I don't know how to wrap his butt up. This is probably pretty sure this isn't the way the instructions said to do it, but this seems like a good method for right now, so I'm gonna use it. At least for a little bit. So, fun story. I actually used to make things like this for fun. Um, I found a uh, I don't know if you've ever seen those voodoo dolls that come in the the little coin machine where you put the quarter in and uh, you turn the wheel and you get the toy out. Um, me and my sister found those one day and we decided to get a couple. And I still have the first one. I still have that in my car. Um, I kept it forever. But... So... I looked at it for a long time and I was like, I'm pretty sure I can make this. So I took a bouncy ball and I glued it to some uh, pipe cleaners. I shaped it out to look like a little stick figure. Uh, and I glued it down and wrapped yarn around it. Um, I actually have pictures. <clears throat> I actually have pictures of those somewhere. Um, I'll see if I can find them to insert them here, but... Mine looks all, the yarn on it looks all spaced out and weird, but on the box, it looks perfect. So I got his little torso all done. Um, I figured out that if, if I run it around the front, then I could get his little, his little backside all filled in. No, there's holes. There's gaps. I went ahead and started on one of the legs, and then I realized that I needed to show you guys what I had done here. So I just wrapped it around, um, the parts that I could. Oh no! I messed up the hoof. Ah! So I got his front legs done. And they look okay. But while I was working on that, the yarn from the hoof back here actually came out from where I had it tucked. So I'm going to see if my housemate has a, um, a hot glue gun and I'm going to glue that down. Hopefully. Now I have to figure out how to wrap it around his neck and head. That's going to be a little bit more complicated. Um... But I'm not going to give up, and I'm not going to look at the instructions. We will figure this out. No, I can't look at the instructions. How, how, in the world, how? I don't understand. 
No, there's still a hole there. I don't understand. I don't know how to fix it. And then I gotta do the head too. I don't know how to do this. Okay guys, I'm sorry, I tried, but I cannot figure out how to get his shoulders and his head and everything else, so I'm gonna have to get the instructions. So I didn't exactly cheat, I'm still kind of doing it the way that I'm doing it, but I did gain the tip of using the adhesive stickies. I forgot that I had them. So now I can kind of place things, place the yarn better. There we go. Almost. There. Okay. Yeah, I think I got it. For the most part. Somewhat. Maybe. Sort of. Not really. It's still kind of weird on one side. Oh well. This is... This is my best. <laughs> okay. More stickies. I'm... Almost done. I think I think I've got it figured out. Maybe. Nope, I need that sticky to be further down. Right there. Right to the tip of the nose. So I have him all wrapped up. He looks a little bit janky right here on the shoulders, but I didn't know how else to fix it. But I got his little face done. And his little, his little hooves are okay, except for that one on the back that I need to glue, but it'll be okay. Um, but yeah, he's all done. He's all wrapped up and everything else. Uh, I've got to figure out what to do with the string, but I think um, if I thread it up through here, it should stay fine. So we'll see. Okay, so I got the string tucked up in there. It's running up through the back of his neck, so hopefully it won't come undone. Because um, I don't know how to, like, glue it or anything. Um... So, the next part, I think, would be getting the rest of the colors and making his hair. Do I want to use all the colors? All the colors. Alright, so I think I need just a little bit of each one. Not a whole lot. Let's cut them all the same length so that it doesn't look all weird probably gonna get this wrong as to how long the other ones are. But it's fine. You can have layered hair. Okay. So, I have two bundles of each of the colors. Hmm. I don't know how to thread these through there. Where should my crochet needle? I think my tail I think my yarn was a little bit too long, at least for this. Cause look how long that tail is. Yeah, I'll trim it off a little bit. Trim it about there. So it's still kind of flowy, but it's not overpoweringly flowy. Now, I remember from the instructions, one thing that they said to do to make it look cooler is you unravel the braided pieces of the yarn, this is going to take a while. So you see how when you unravel the yarn, it makes it look all like wavy and strands of hair instead of yarn? Yeah, that's cool. But there he is with his little tail, by the way. I think I forgot to show that when I finished, or when I tied the tail on the end. What? Why? So I have his tail finished, and it looks all fluffy and cute. Look how cute that is! Oh my god! He's coming together quite nicely, I think. Oh, some of my strings are much longer than the others. For the mane, I notice it's kind of spread out a little bit. So it's not all clumped together like that, of course. It doesn't stand up very well anymore. I don't know what happened. <laughs> now, I know what you're thinking. Tony, did you forget about your project until the next day? Yes. Yes, I did. Let's continue. So all I'm doing is taking these in bundles of two and then trying to find, ooh, kind of center between the two of them because I cut them very unevenly. Whoops. And then 
tied on. They made this look a lot easier in the booklet. I'm gonna stop somewhere because I only have one blue string. So what do I only have one of the other color? Oh, weird. Six, eight, ten. So that means I have to five of each color. What did I do? Oh, I only have one purple. Okay. We're gonna have to fix that. Oh, here they are. Let me give him a little haircut because all of his little hairs are very uneven. I want to make him a little bit more even. They don't have to be perfect, but. Just these really long ones like this, I want them kind of gone. So I'm going to trim it up just a little bit. The mane is done. It's really starting to look like a unicorn now, and it makes me really happy. But the mane is done. All I've got to do is kind of untangle the um, uh, the yarn so that it looks more like this. Um, and then glue the ears and the horn on, and I think we'll be good to go. Alright, so I finished the hair. This is what it looks like. I had to pull it back because you can see the knots if it's on the side like this. But, you know, either way. What is the glitter for? What is the glitter for? Why are they glittery? So now I need to make the ears. Um, they gave me a little piece of felt, so I'm going to cut out some ears and stick them down with the little stickies. And then we can work on the horn. And the last bit is the bridle. Okay, got them cut out. Now I just uh, wonder again with the stickies I've basically become a pro at this hmm that looks kind of derpy you know what whatever it looks fine he's perfect just the way he is his ears are a little bit derpy they're not even and they look they're all flat to his head so they look a little funny I don't really care though. He's cute. He's super cute. Now, we're gonna make the horn. So they recommended using a pen to wrap the top with, but I don't know if I have a pen like that. Hang on. Okay, found a pen. So now, we're just gonna wrap it around the pen like so. It's perfect. I don't know if I'm supposed to be using these sticky things for this or not, but I'm going to anyway. <laughs> no, I squished it. So, that's, that's him. There he is. Look how cute. So the last thing they recommend is doing the bridle, but I don't know about it because I think he looks fine just the way he is because unicorns are free. I'm actually kind of proud of this. This is really cool. I'm having so much fun with these yarn bits. They're so soft. I guess that's it. So if y'all have any ideas for videos that I can make in the future, go ahead and leave those in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you want to see more, go ahead and hit subscribe. And until next time, stay magical, my friends.